Hey everybody, I'm Sam and this is Antiverso and today I want to talk about fear and in particular why fear is not the driver you want in your life. You don't want to be dependable on fear and you don't want to use it so you can push yourself towards your goals. And why am I talking about that? Well, all of us feel fear right at different situations different moments in our life so a lot of people feel that you know we anyways feel fear why not use it in order to push our goals if we're looking at it from this perspective it makes sense right it's the default thing to be honest it's the easier easiest thing to do right use something that's default in our life in order to push ourselves However, I do not believe in to the long term fear can give you uh, a true success. Uh, it can give you a lasting good result. And I want to explain why. Well, first of all, fear creates stress. And this is literally bad for your health, for your physical health. But second of all, and even more importantly, I believe, is that fear inhibits four very important things for you know success and achieving whatever you're after. And those are creativity, productivity, excellency, and long-term mindset. And first, I want to start with the big picture. Well, if something is very hard, right? Because if you have true goals, you know, if you want to achieve something, no matter what it is, in your own terms, it is probably hard, right? It takes a lot of effort. You need to work really hard. And the truth is, if it is really exceptional, it will take a lot of time and you might not see any you know, return or result in a very long time. And what happens is that the only way you can continue pursuing this goal is that you love, you know, the process or you are so in love with the end result, with your goal, that you want to continue doing it, right? But what I said is love and fear is the exactly opposite of that. So I just don't believe that a person who is driven by fear can never last as long or, you know, long enough so they can achieve something exceptional. And, you know, fear can be very powerful, especially in the short term. But, you know, in the long term, when it's hard and you don't see results, no matter how much you fear, uh, you know, losing or something else, you will get fed up, you will burn out and you will give up. Now, let me get back to those four things that I believe fear inhibits and so it can never give you true success and lasting good results. First is creativity. And I think we can all, all agree that creativity is so important, right? Uh, you know, creativity is the foundation of all great things around us. Uh, you know, this is art, this is technology, this is everything really that has true value. Well, the problem about creativity and fear is that creativity requires for you to experiment, to innovate, to do something new and exciting and in order to do that you must be you know ready to be misunderstood you need to be ready to fail and what is fear right fear wants us to escape that so there is no way that you driven by fear will ever you know experience through creativity well, the next three things are kind of connected. Productivity, excellency, and long-term mindset. But I'll try to explain them one by one. And let's start with productivity. What is productivity, right? It is doing as many things as you know possible in a particular amount of time, which we can also call uh, efficiency, right? But it's also a bit about effectiveness, meaning that all the things that you do you know, you do them well and, you know, they work. And, you know, combining that means that you want to do a lot of things, you want to do them well, and, you know, you're motivated to keep on doing. 
But what happens with fear? Fear is a is a safe mode, right? You're risk averse, you know, you're you're scared to fail, you don't want to push too much. And what happens is that by default you only want to do what is necessary to move on to the next thing, right? You just want to uh, you know, escape the situation you are right now. You just want to somehow the fastest, easiest way to hit some kind of goal, and that's it. And you forget about it, right? Because you're you're fearful, right? You're you're nervous about it, and you try to escape. It's a safe mode, so you can never, you would never do more than enough, right? You can, you would never do explore new things. You know, you never want to really be truly productive because you just want to do what is necessary to go somewhere and again that we go back to creativity right you you will never explore new boundaries and that way you could miss on so many opportunities productivity is followed by excellency what's excellency i understand it as whatever you're doing you want to do it right you want to do it the best way not only that you can imagine but even a bit more right you want to put everything from yourself and from you know the environment into whatever you're doing and you don't do it because you know somebody told you to do it you don't do it because it's required but you do it because that's your inner firm belief that you know whatever you do you want to do it in an excellent way and in a better way than it has been or than even people want to because you put some kind of part of yourself in whatever you do and this is great you know that's how we create a great products that's how we create great things that have value for other people because they are better than what it is until now and what has been however with fear what we do right we do what's necessary we want to move on right we don't want to spend too much time because fear pressures us fear stress us as i said it's literally bad for your physical health so you want to move on you cannot continue too much you 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 burn out so you could never even want to achieve excellency in even if you know you're a reasonable person obviously you want to achieve some kind of excellence if you're driven by fear you will never be able to achieve it because you burn out before doing it because it takes a lot of iterations it could look annoying or irritating but if you're internally driven by your strive for excellency and for the product and uh, being positive about it, you would be able to do it. So excellency out of the window, right? And we arrive at the last thing and it is long-term mindset. And I've talked so much about long-term mindset and I'll continue talking so much because it's uh, it's probably the one most important thing that can set you apart from yourself from your previous self and from other people and that will help us succeed because and i posted another video it's linked into the card section and down in the description you can check it out about what makes us successful and there is actually a scientific study that shows that people who are able to delay gratification right people who choose to not take you know the uh, the award or the gain right now but wait a bit later which would allow them obviously to get probably a better gain because they have more time and they can do things better those type of people actually succeed in life uh you can google it it's called the marshmallow test you know why is that well also jeff bezos talks a lot about long-term mindset amazon uh, you probably know the company, he runs it, he says he's always in the future, right? He says people congratulate me for the current quarter, but current quarter is already done two years ago, right? Now I'm I'm doing what's in the future in the next two or three years and my plan and my goals are seven or eight or ten years uh, in the future. So this is incredible. And why is that? Because 
when you think into the future and when you have this long-term mindset, you don't take shortcuts. You give yourself time, you give yourself resources, and you give yourself the benefit of experimenting, of innovating, of excellency, of productivity. You bind all of those things together in order to achieve the greatest result. When you're fearful, you know, you want things to end as fast as possible. You just want to get it out of your way, of your head, right? But of course, we all know that we make bad decisions, right? Especially when under stress or especially when we have this short-term mindset. And, you know, bad decision after bad decision, it compounds and results into bad results. Instead of trying to make things into the short term, let's let things grow into the long term. And I believe this this will result in, in amazing things and fear just does not let you do that. Save your health, build a better mindset, you know, be relaxed, enjoy life, be appreciative, work very hard with the long-term mindset combining excellency productivity and creativity i believe we can all achieve great things uh, these are the few points why i believe fear is a very bad driver especially into the long term so i hope you enjoyed that make sure to subscribe for antiverso uh, check out my other videos playlists on youtube also check out my patreon where you can uh, support the channel thank you for listening see you next time